Okay, so that's like 15 minutes of uh, recording. Just uh, down the drain. Thanks for it. Let me know, Kira. So freaking annoying. It just randomly decides. Oh, I'm going to forget your audio settings again. Okay. These are mine. But how are you doing, Kira? How the fuck am I supposed to get up there? It said I couldn't get through that door. Without modifying this thing. There's no fucking way to get up that. What kind of hot garbage is this bullshit? You see nothing. You better run. Shit. Did he actually run? He actually ran. There he is. I'm so confused. What the hell happened there? Hey, buddy. Confused? That was weird. Pray to your tin god. Uh, doors, are you weakness? Ow. Maybe not yours. Whoa, he got an arm. weapon. Whatever. Shit. Oh, can I climb this? Can I climb this? How do I get up here? Holy shit, he just shotgun blasted himself away. How do I get up this? Oh, it just decides. Oh, so frustrating. I stood on this like for a million years and now I decided to go up. OBS stands for occasionally broken stream. You know what? I, I kind of think it is now. The system would be tricky. Access denied. Please provide a <laughs> code. is. I'm gonna shoot you off the edge. Is that you? So you haven't forgotten? Yeah, she didn't die. Good 
by you. How's the Vavilov complex treating you? You like the cute little bush they got there? That cute little bush almost killed me. I barely <laughs> made it out in one piece. And now I'm stuck here with this lousy piece of shit Valon. Here's a little tip for you, Sonny. You need bigger guns. Then you can take out all those nasty buggers without breaking a sweat. Right. Guns are kind of hard to find around here. You should stop by my hut. I'll find you a blueprint. Hell yeah. And it'll help you back into that Volan. I've got some codes for it around here someplace. Your hut? What kind of Baba Yaga would I be without a hut on chicken legs? <laughs> they broke the mold when they made you, Granny. All right. I'll come to your hut. Where is it? See the fields on the hill? Down the road from that tower of yours. Head that way and wait for me there. I won't be long. How did she know it was me? How come this one had a button? But to go up, there's no button. I'm so confused. He's making a bed. There's a data butt. Hi, Jada Butt. Yeah, I was talking about you. Yeah, I was talking about you. What? What are you thinking? You're making a bait. You make that bait. You're doing a great job. Oh, there you go. Nice and comfy. Oh, God. I go all the way over there now? Fun. I'm almost dead again, dude. I've used so many health things. Crap, we're out of hand sanitizer. Whoa! No! Granny? Granny? Let me go, you son of a bitch! He could have just ripped me in half right there. Is it a plane with me? Yeah, burn him alive! Well, Granny's a goddamn legend. Oh, about time. That fucking bot almost killed me. What's up, Brewster? We're trying to. Thanks for the assist. <laughs> Look at the Steve's got, so got the old lady decor. I'm gonna need them. Come on in. Have a cup of tea. Oh, thank God you have a sexy robot refrigerator. And a normal refrigerator. Amazing. Kettle's there. Help yourself. Uh, okay. Nice TV. What's on? Cartoons. Hell yeah! I love her. That picture was in that other house. What the hell are you? The exact, exact same picture. Your beloved Sechenov son. I want you to watch closely. I am dropping mad frames, guys. Are you guys seeing frame drops? The malfunction has already been corrected, Comrade Molotov. Everything's back to normal. There's nothing to worry about. Corrected or not, our American friends are likely to find out about this outrageous incident. Do you realize what this could mean for us? An international scandal. I am fully aware of Are it. you? Our atomic heart project my. is in jeopardy. My project. A project I started before the beginning of that damn war. A project you all refused to acknowledge. How many millions of Soviet citizens died in that bloody meat grinder of a war? I swore that the world would never Why is everyone like well well I'm glad to hear you still speaking unaccented English comrade but that does not change the fact that we are all slowly being suffocated by Western sanctions comrade Molotov I value human life above all else 
and the age of capital I would either prefer is coming to an end Soon the Western world I'm speaking world Russian the oppressor I understand and having I subtitles or speaking well, English the polymerization with like a Russian accent but having it like a normal Midwestern America accent when they're living in Russia is really fucking weird are you referring to comrade Setchenov? Do you even realize that if the Americans find out that your robots can be switched to combat mode, I guarantee your project will be dead in the water. They're not going to find out. I repeat, the malfunction has been dealt Comrade with. Comrade Sechenov, some members of the Politburo may be willing to take you at your word as an honored member of the Academy of Sciences. But I'm afraid your word is just not enough for me what's that supposed to mean <laughs> the Politburo has come to a decision and I have been ordered to head a special commission investigating your malfunction we will be at your facility later today do I make myself clear, Comrade Sechenov? Um, um, um. Well, Comrade Molotov, if the party deems it necessary, then... Holy shit, Granny Zena. How the hell did you get it's access to this? It's a direct connection. I've got eyes and ears everywhere, sweet cheeks. Don't worry about it, okay? It's none of your business. Besides, you've got work to do. I've got a little present for you. It's in the corner. It's... You know what to do with Volan codes, right? And take this blue. What the heck is that? Dominator. Oh boy. It won't bite. Don't show that to the fridge. Like your girlfriend. <laughs> what? Girlfriend? <laughs> Thanks, lady. You're a real peach. She is. I love her. She's gonna end up dying. Access granted. Uh, sure. All right, consumables. Restores health and dodge. Energy covers more health. Okay, so I can I can recover some health. Are these the things I'm zapping myself with? I need these to make upgrades. I want to unlearn these. I thought there was a thing that maybe not. All right, what can we make? I kind of like this hammer. Dominator, the fuck is this? Heavy pulse cannon that requires spheres of compressed electrified polymer. After being fired, each polymer projectile retains its shape due to its own electromagnetic field, then explodes upon reaching the target. Releasing. Releasing a large amount of potential energy and causing significant pinpoint point damage. Is that like a grenade launcher? An improvised two handed axe made of several. It is an axe. Made of several welded pipes, its blades are crafted from sharpened sheets of metal, can be upgraded into a full fledged mace. That sounds fun. What's the difference between that and my normal? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, five, four, six, three.
it's better than my upgraded axe. So I'm gonna make it. No, I'm not. Fuck! Fine. Fine game. Fine. Can I at least upgrade my, my glove? Access granted. Oh, right. I was working on these. Hey, the return thing is showing up. Look, it's unbugged. There, you can carry more shit now. Um. Did I buy anything else? Hey, look. Getting all our stuff back. Wait a minute. Oh, that's free. All right. I can unlearn that. No, I can't. Because then I won't be able to do that. God damn it. Damn it. All right. You're no ordinary old lady. Really? You seem a little mixed up, Sonny. <laughs> no kidding. You've got a flying hut, a quantum computer hanging from the ceiling. Of course I'm mixed up. I've never met anybody like you before. You've got a memory like a sieve, haven't you? Well, I guess there's a few little things I can't remember since I got injured. But I definitely remember you. Little things, you say? Well, now you've got something really important to do, right? Pretty much. I need to get to the VDNH. Is there a train station around here? It's right past the village. Head down the road, you can't miss it. Just keep an eye on the sky. You're a sharp old bird, Granny Xena. <laughs> Thanks for noticing. Let's just say you're lucky I felt like looking after you. Why did you? What's special about me? I wanted to see if you're a real man or a pussy. Harsh. <laughs> That's what it takes to get through a thick skull. Is that my mom? How did you survive anyway? I didn't. I'm dead. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? What kind of stupid ass question is that? I ought to grab my ladle and smack you on the head. I'm trained to survive, so that's what I did. How are you tracking Sachinov? Same way I track everybody else. Technology, Sonny. Let's just say I've got a fancy hut, you've got a fancy glove, and we don't ask each other where they came from. Deal? Fair enough. That's a weird pet you got there. What's so weird about her? I make some pretty special tea, I'll give you that. But this is just a plain old chicken. What? Uh -huh. That's a joke. This is facility 3826. It's like the Emerald City. Haven't you ever seen a chip chicken before? Can't say I have. Actually, I didn't even know that <laughs> was a thing. Well, go ahead and take a look. Anyway... I gotta run. Off you go, little pup. Oh, I almost forgot. You didn't find a couple of rings down there, did you? Gold ones in a facility 3826 box? Rings in a box? No, Granny Xena, I didn't see anything like that. I was kind of busy. Well, off you go then. Enjoy the VDNH. Thanks. I really appreciate the help. Wait. You're meeting Stockhausen there, aren't you? How the hell did you know about that? Little Bird told me. Tell the crowd things might have been different if he hadn't been chasing after another man's woman. <laughs> Whatever. I have no idea what you're talking about. Grab a car in the village. It's a long walk to the station. Hi, chicken. Hi, Granny. Charles. Who is this Granny Xena lady anyway? That's a difficult question to answer, Comrade Major. I've never met her. Yeah? I figured you knew her. Why is that? You didn't say a word when we were talking. I assumed you didn't want her to hear your voice. I decided not to reveal myself until I can determine exactly whose side she's on. Makes sense. So, 
What about this atomic heart project? Ha ha, <laughs> you saw nothing. Talking to Comrade Molotov about. I have no data about it. You'd have to ask Dr. Sechenov. Nah, it doesn't matter. The boss will tell me about it if I need to know. Let's go find a way to the station. Oh. We've got a camera. Are you getting any telemetry, Charles? I'm in the system. Oh. Okay. Why? Why do I care? What are we what am I looking for exactly? What am I looking for? The fuck? Where's that gate? That it? Okay, let's open the gate. There we go. Okay, cool. I did it. Totally on purpose. The system. We can see the whole place this way. Let's look for the right camera. I think I did it already. Uncool. Why'd you have to be right here? Where's your parts? Thank you. Oh crap, I, I forgot to make health things. What? Come on, game. Come on, game. Somehow that missed. You missed. Fuck you. Come out. Come out. Let me up. You saw nothing? Shit. Shit. I don't know who saw me or shooting at me, but I'm going. No, no. It sounds like he's literally right next to me. There's a bunch of yogurt in there. You guys see it? that door okay the dead man jump over that ah. I can squeeze through come on Doesn't hurt. Doesn't hurt. Speed run. Nope. 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 Nope.
There's a crap ton of them. I'm going. I'm just going. I'm just going. You see nothing? Just some fast moving bushes. Oh my god, it's making me move more? Come on. That's too many boys. Don't get stuck. Whoop. 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 We going. Whoa! Almost fell off the edge. Boy! It's a perfect lame out. Boys? No, too many. Oops. Too many boys on the dance floor. The fuck? Oh my god. So much running. Wait, didn't she say there was like a train or something I could have taken? Whoops. What was that? You saw nothing. Shit. All right, you guys want to be assholes? Let's be assholes. Oh, booyah! How come you're not dead? Neither of you did. Bullshit. All right, we're just going to go. Later! You can't run. You can't run this fast. Was I supposed to take a car? <laughs> God, this is the longest run ever. Still run. Cool. Ah, we found the station. And the train is right there. All we have to do now is take a seat and we're off. I sincerely hope we don't encounter any obstacles along the way. Don't yeah. jinx it, Glove. Yeah, there's a bunch Otherwise of robots. We'll find a goddamn canister lock on the door. It's making baby cry noises. No, I was trying to crouch. Son of a bitch. Get fucked. Down some stairs. There are bodies everywhere. They never saw the bots coming. God damn it. Expected civilian robots to display this Fuck you. Aggression. No shit. I wouldn't have seen it coming either. Robots pulled our country back from the edge of a cliff after the brown plague. A decade brown later, plague. People believe civilian robots are dependent. Everyone just shitting their pants. It's a terrible shame. <laughs> oh. Scared me. Hey, how's it going? Greetings, comrade. Welcome aboard Vortex, the unique high-speed train and the crown jewel of Facility 3826 transportation system. I need to get to the VDNH right away. It will be my pleasure, comrade. The current load of the train line is 0%. You may depart immediately. <laughs> Are you sure you haven't washed your marbles like those other robots? You're not going to crash the train and kill us, are you? Passenger safety is the foremost concern of any robotic vehicle. Our algorithms? I've seen what your algorithms can do. Charles, is there a neuropolymer capsule with a train manual on it in this station? You can drive the Vortex yourself if we find one. Unfortunately, this station isn't a transit hub. There won't be a manual capsule here. Oh, fuck. Oh, great. Let's go. Assuming you have purchased a ticket. A, a ticket? A fucking ticket? Are you going to make me go down there and Your get a ticket? This is everywhere. There's an emergency protocol in effect over the entire facility. 
Start the train right now. According to Soviet law, free travel is available only to pregnant women and people with disabilities. I do not detect any signs of pregnancy. Show me a note from the gynecologist. I'll show you signs of pregnancy, you piece of shit. If you have a mental disability, this please robot present your disability certificate. It has fucking no fucks given. Fucked. Comrade Major, note that this particular Rafik is not an autonomous system. He is the high-speed train vortex. Destroying him will permanently disable the train. All right. Listen here, you lousy hunk of junk. Where do I get your fucking ticket? You may purchase it at the nearest ticket window. There are special discounts available for passengers traveling with children. Uh, what ticket window? It should be like shit. right there. They're closed. Everyone's dead. Nobody's selling tickets. According to Soviet law, free travel is available only to pregnant women and people with disabilities. Cram it, you prick. I'll end up hoofing it all the way to the VDNA. Can I just rate. jump off the edge and break my leg? Will that count? A unique train? What makes it so special? Does it fly through the air or something? Thanks to the revolutionary maglev transportation system developed You really like that glass, don't you? Vortex high-speed train can reach incredible speeds with no inconvenience to the passengers. An inextricable part of the neural network Vortex independently adjusts its speed and schedule based on the number of passengers on trains and in waiting areas. Following the launch of Collective 2.0. Enough, I get it. Collective. I'm almost out of time. Fine, yeah. whatever. I'm out of here. Uh, what am I supposed to do now? Search every single body here? I suggest talking to the polymerized victims. Shit. Do I have to? Friends, no you have a ticket? I need a train ticket. A ticket? What the hell are you talking about? There are crazy robots all over the place. Help! They're killing me! You already got killed, buddy. Shouting like that isn't gonna do shit. I've got to hide! Get away! You'll tip me off to the robots! <laughs> You're hidden. You're hidden, okay? The bots will never find you. Now, can you tell me where I can get a train ticket? I'm not opening the ticket window. The robots will see me. Ask someone else for a ticket. They don't have names on them. Let me in there. I'll print off my own. Kai, rescue, failure. Excuse me, comrade, but do you have a train ticket? Must go. Grab it. Emergency. What? Failed everyone. People dying. Elimination was correct. Son. Asshole. Holy Don't son your I'm asshole. Wasting my fucking time here. Robots. Not glad to be of service. Not glad. I'll keep that in mind. I gotta go. <laughs> oh my god, that's so far away. Tired of this shit. Get fucked. That's you. Ooh. Can't open this door, are you serious? Fine. I have a freaking fireman's axe. I can't chop down a door. This looks like a comfy bed. Are you serious? 
an Invincidor. Why couldn't people just hit behind these doors? Robots can't break him down. Apparently they can. How do I get in here? How do I get in there? I'm going to get stuck, aren't I? Taking a quick nap. Cool. I'm just going to loot your stuff and I'll leave you to it. Don't worry about it. Can Thank I you. Have your train ticket, comrade? It's an emergency. Are you alive? Then run. You can make it. Leave the area. I can't. I'm the guy who's going to clean up this mess. This is exactly what we thought when we sounded the alarm. And now we're hiding out instead of fixing the robots. This picture is everywhere. Both those pictures are everywhere. Sorry, comrade, but there's no need for you to hide anymore. Are you trying to say they killed me? I knew it. Really? How? It's been several nights, but I'm still huddling in the same spot, and I can't remember what happened before the alarm went off. I'm guessing your ticket's expired then, huh? I have a monthly pass. Has it been a month yet? How long have I been lying here? Ah, it hasn't been a month. Mind if I borrow your pass, comrade? You don't need it anymore. And that fucking Rafik on the train is busting my balls. You saw a Rafik? Do not approach it under any circumstances. Graphics kill you if you try talking to them. Have you got it or not? Have you got a pass or not? I have. Take it. It's, it's in Thank my you. I can't reach it. I'll get it. Thanks, comrade. Do not approach graphics. They're dangerous. Oh, thank God. I didn't push that button. It's fine. Oh, two swings? Love that. <gasps> it's an elephant! I think. Oh, you're missing an ear, buddy. Don't come at me. Get back up there. We're fine. Oh, you know what I should be doing every time this happens? I should reload all my guns. Okay, never mind. No one sees me. Just make my way downtown. Walking fast. Kicking ass. And however the rest of the song goes. Please don't attack me. Welcome aboard Vortex. Is this ticket okay? Will you let me ride now, you bloodsucker? Why didn't you notify me you had a travel document, comrade? It could speed up the departure of the train. 
Maybe because I didn't have it back then. Are you saying this isn't your ticket? You, dude, you need to shut up, P3. What did you just say? Please do not worry. Having analyzed the situation, I came to the conclusion that you are a law enforcement officer investigating an emergency. It is obvious that you are allowed to travel free of charge under the current circumstances. <laughs> are, are you serious? Feel free to take any available seat. The train is departing in 10 seconds. Wow, we just witnessed a real miracle of science. The train is now departing. Next stop, Solnechnaya Station. Charles? Professor Zaharov's death seems pretty cut and dry to me. What's so suspicious about it? Already been over this. Why would you have your if you're so suspicious of robots, hey, why would you have your back to, get to the bottom of this? Sechenov's the only family I've got, okay? I understand, Comrade Major, but what do you need to get to the bottom of? I can't even imagine Sechenov killing his best friend. That's just crazy. I mean, why would he do it? Why indeed? That is unless Zaharov betrayed him like his other colleagues did. Dr. Filatova, for example. Filatova went after Petrov. She's Shit. a woman in love. She Shit. Thinking Shit. Smash. Oh, fuck. What's that thing? Ouch. Why do we every time we just have to watch something almost fall on me? Fucking move, bro. Move. Move. There you go. No time for dirt nap stuck. Get your ass up and head to cover. Spill it. What did Sashinov say? Uh, okay, okay. Easy it's now. like, okay, okay. Uh, Comrade Molotov is on his way. Head down. To the, uh, okay. Uh, Comrade Sashinov wants you to go there right now. And, and How come I have one in a glove and everyone else has them in their face? What the hell for? It's very okay, fair enough. Uh, okay. creepy. Uh, Comrade Sashinov like asked me to give you this. Cool things coming out your face. Gives me the heebie-jeebies. Uh. Oh, that's adorable. No, no, it's not. Not. It's adorable until it moved like a spider. Your job is to cover me. What are you doing? So just cover me. Huh? Wait, where are you going? You fucking idiot. Uh, slippery little bitch. Ah! Point. Shot him in the dick. Oh, that's cool. He's got a laser weapon. Yeah, how you like them apples? My God, you took so much hits. It's pretty here, just like Moscow. Better actually. There are many secret testing grounds where you can find a variety of blueprints to upgrade your arsenal. Entrances and testing grounds are more to the map. Linguistic error. Blah 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 blah. Select your upgrade. You're interested in blah 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 blah. Okay. A minute. I would like to take the elevator, please. What the fuck? How do I get down there? Where's the... Where's the goddamn stairs? The quick brown fox jumps over huh. the lazy dog. His mind is completely gone. I can't keep going like that, please. Enough. Ugh, poor guy. Pain is the last thing he can remember. Tough luck. I can't work so much. I need at least one day off. This must be one of the developers working on Collective 2.0's software. They had a few difficult days before the neural network update. And brutal deadlines. Same old story. Well, you got all the time in the world now, buddy. Oh, forgive us, Yuri. Oh, they said Yuri! 
He has expired. Charles, I keep thinking, what's up with their voices? As far as I can tell, the talking corpse's polymer memory is transmitting an audio stream through the interactive speech module installed in the thought device's voice assistant. So, in other words, they talk through the neurocontroller? So it would seem. When the thought controllers were initially distributed, only two voice profiles had been created, a male one and a female one. That's why their voices seem so similar. Needless to say, these people spoke quite ordinarily when they were alive. But they promised to significantly increase the range of voice profiles. Is that why you've got that weird, wheezy voice? It's rude to mock a man for something that is beyond his control, Comrade Major. <laughs> Whatever. I was just messing with you. You've got a nice, sultry baritone. <laughs> a man. How the fuck? There they are. Ace of you dumb. Come on. Not that hooker bot again. Watch out. Access granted. Woo. Um. Oh, wait. I was wanting to make this thing. Insufficient resources still. How? Doesn't that mean it's full? No, oh, that means how many I need. Wait a minute. I think, yeah. I don't know if it's full. A nice walk in the park here. Dudes, don't mind me. Locked. What else is new? Yep. Charles, open it. Unfortunately, I lack the ability to unlock doors. You're like a broken record, you know that. And why do you I'll keep asking him? It. Stop chasing me. Ah! Hey, a Valon. Sweet. Oh shit. Hey, buddy. You see nothing? <laughs> Koala, welcome to the stream. How you doing, Fredo? Get him cooking for you. Oh, you better get them snack okay. What do we have here? Are you planning to disable the hawk? Sure. It isn't responsible for opening the VDNH's doors, you know. Uh, well, I don't know which one is. Oh. Okay. I'll start with the hawk. Oh, I found that. Uh. Isn't that the one I just did? That's the one I just did. How about this one? How is that the same one? What? It's like picking the same ones. Can I just disable that dude? Oh my god, where is it? Where is it? This is the most annoying thing. Oh my god. <sighs> I can't with any of those robots. Why? Ugh. I'm getting bored of this game. Too, it's it's a bit too fetch questy. I'm just like I don't care. Just get to the next area. Just get to the next area. Just get to the next area. Fuck you. You guys see nothing. Don't worry about it. Oh god, there's another black suit one. Oh my god. I'm just making everything worse. I'm stuck. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Hey buddy, how's it going? Nice face. See you. It's the hawk service button. What's the thing? Push the thing. It will cause the you got it, buddy. You do your little spider so it thing. Can be by a How long will it stay there for? 
If it fails to make contact with the technician, not long. Then we need to move. What are you planning? I'm gonna take a ride on the hawk and get a better view of the place. Oh. Ha 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 ha! Yeah, boy, found a exploit. Maybe not. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Fucking did, man. Fuck off, dudes. How come you guys aren't dead yet? Are you fucking kidding me? Ah ha ha! I win. It worked. Oh, can I swim? You guys want to take bets if I just fall in the, the water if I die? Oh, I'm beating laser beams. We're fine. What should I do? Hang on to this handle or something? Hold on tight. Hawks are not designed to be ridden. Wait, what? What? Oh, hey, buddy. Wait, what? Maybe get to the land? Hello? Grab hold. How? It's in the air! What? Um, what the shit? Did I just miss it? You. Yep, I just missed it. Uh, okay. Ha ha! Get fucked. This is fine. Totally not scary at all. What are these cables for? They weren't here before. The cables stabilized the hawk during bad weather. Huh? Now can slide down a cable. Sure, I'm going to this one. Interesting fact. From a bird's eye view, you can see that the grass in the park was planted in the shape of the peaceful atom. A bird's eye view? Oh. Hey. Shit, would you look at that? It's ha -ha. again. Be careful. Hog 7 units are quite dangerous. Oh, come on. It's freaking adorable. Look at him go! Ah! Am I supposed to fight it? Okay, the music is fucking dope. Ah! We went fucking full Doom soundtrack. Yeah, fuck that. Yo! We're turning it up. Fuck your fire goops, let's go! Come here. Let me show you what you got. Come at me. Ah. Fire goops. Fire goops. Fire goops. Hold still, you piece of shit. How the fuck? Bro. Hold still. Piece of shit. There it goes. Oh. Back here. Oh my god. The most annoying boss fight ever. He doesn't stop. He doesn't stop! What the fuck is this garbage? There it goes. That took entirely too long. That's like a minute of him running around like an idiot. Ah! Stop. What the fuck? No. Stop sucking me in! I can't heal anymore. Oh! 
Oh, fuck off. All right. This boss fight can suck my nuts. Yeah. Let me zap, let me zap, let me zap. Oh, fuck off. Oh my God, this boss fight is garbage. This boss fight is stupid. Who designed this dumbass boss fight with this sick ass music? And then I just died. Then I just died. You're all YouTuber because you be played like a really weird dude. <laughs> That's your new favorite quote. That's great. Uh, that thing rolled around for way too long. Why? Why was there doom music? Oh, thank God. I thought I was going to have to... Grass in the park was planted in the shape of the peaceful atom. Yeah, I don't, I don't care about that right now. Push button. Boop. Things come out. Boy gets angry. Look at that. It's that thing again. Be careful. Hawk 7 units are quite dangerous. Oh, come on. It's freaking adorable. All right. Oop. Oh. Watch what happens, watch what happens. Blam! That did nothing. It literally did no damage. Where'd he go? Oh, I shoot your shit. That did no damage. I need more of those things. I need more of those things to come out of the ground. Come on, game. Come on, game. Come on, game. Oh my god. What's with all the games lately that are literally just waiting simulators? Literally, it's just waiting. It's just waiting. Waiting is not difficulty. Thank you. Fuck, stupid. No, whatever that is, don't. I don't like it. How am I supposed to stop that bullshit? Fuck off. You need more of those things to pop out of the ground. Ah! Oh, shit. Why can't I run like a person? <sighs> How so very fun. Just waiting, waiting, waiting. Thank God. Oh, fuck off, man. That's bullshit. I, that thing came out of the ground and then was like, nah, we're going to go back in there. So stupid. <sighs> this is a shitty boss fight. It's so much waiting. You don't know if a shockwave is coming. Because you're trying to run away from the bastard. You can't run. From a bird's so stupid. View, you can see that this the is terrible, terrible design. In the shape of the peaceful atom. A bird's eye view? I like this part because it's adorably and fun. Come on. Oh, that one fucking homing right in my face. Whoa!
Nope. Waiting, 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 waiting. Oh, this is so much fun. More waiting. Guess what? And more waiting. Waiting, waiting. Oh my god, finally. Over here. How come it's not working this time? And I'm on top of the thing now. No, I'm not. It didn't work that time. What? Oh my god, it's so fucking stupid. And then this bullshit. Oh my god! Duh. What a shitty boss fight, dude. Who designed this and thought this was fun? Fucking die. Oh god, he has like two one more shot left. Waiting. 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 Oh. Super fun. Super fun. Super fun. Waiting. This is so stupid. There we go. Finally. You fucking dead. Finally. That boss fight was hot garbage. Was that a civilian robot? For real, that thing. A civilian robot. You tell me, Major. You have far more experience with combat robots that than I. That boss fight I do? was terrible. I mean, shit, I do, but... At least three quarters of that was me thing. sitting there waiting. different somehow. Waiting is not fun or difficult. I thought developers learned that already. Like, because I haven't seen it in a while, but all of a sudden it's making a comeback because this is the second game in, in like the last week that had a waiting mechanic disguised as difficulty. Pretty impressive, isn't it? You can really tell we're on the threshold of something. I, I was really I was close incredible. to rage quitting Koala because I'm already kind of getting bored. Bodies all over the damn place. The um, it's the game has is, the entire game has been fetch quest the entire time, and I, I get very t everyone gets bored of those. And then that boss fight like was like is a tipping point. Now I'm like I'm not even caring. I'm just kind of running through just to see if we can finish it. The more locked doors. Again, everything. more locked doors. The game is even recognizing it. These doors will be opened via a symbolic gesture during the ceremony. Symbolic how? The system of mirrors will focus beams of light on the model of our solar system. I don't care. Above the entrance. I'll see what I can do. The, the game even made a reference to it. More locked doors. Because that's been the entire game. This is not a game anymore. What am I fucking doing? Why are you telling me to push F here? I have no idea what's happening. What the fuck? Excuse you? been watching since you started i think i already checked out the story yeah i'm, I'm kind of don't care and, and it's they like drop novels on you and then a lot of those novels are like this is pointless it, it feels like like it feels like it's giving you a lore dump that you didn't ask for 
It's okay, like in Skyrim, there's books that you can pick up. And if you choose to read them for more lore, you can. But this game is like, like they just said, yeah, we're going to... The, the voice processing of that one guy is like, yeah, they soon they'll come out with new voices. That's nice. Why did I sit here for three minutes listening to this exposition thinking I was going to learn something that I needed to know? But no, it was just a lore dump. What the fuck is this? Kira, this is going to be another one of those puzzles where it's like, what the fuck is this puzzle? This is a stupid puzzle. I'm calling it. What am I doing? What is this? What am I missing? Am I stupid? Is there something in here? I'm going to get stuck again. Watch. Okay, I didn't get stuck. Thank goodness. What the shit? Sounds like some dumb sound oriented puzzle. Right? They didn't give me a. They didn't tell me anything useful. In this one, I can't. I can't make it do it anymore. What the shit? There. No hints. Why is this one from the back side and the other one's from the front? And now it's not making noise? Oh, I'm so fucking confused. Now it's making noise again. The magnet arrow's painted on it. Where? You mean one, two, three, four, like count four? I can't stop it in time. Have to be like this. Why am I able to do it from the side and the back on this one, but the other one I can do it from the front and I can't do it on the front in this one? Just the direction they're pointing? I have no fucking idea, dude. This whole thing is makes no sense. What the shit is this game? You can't do it from this side. What the fuck? There's no consistency in this game. This close to being done with this game. Because I'm getting so sick of this bullshit. There's no indication. Four arrows. Four arrows. Magnet. Can I jump over this? I cannot. Can I shoot it? I cannot. Does that have something to do with this bullshit? Oh my god, this is terrible. This is horrible! And like, sometimes it flexes and moves, and other times it doesn't. There, there's, there's no consistency. How come it's... 
Great. Mirror on the right is all set. I solved it, and I still have no idea what I did. No fucking idea. Now I can grab it from the back again. Or now. Maybe I had to do that one first. Because you guys saw. I came over here and I couldn't do it on the back. You saw it. Like three minutes ago. Oh my god, this game. Uh, the mirror on the left isn't working. Something is jamming the mechanism and preventing the mirror from ascending. Got it. Looks like it's back to the basement for me. Going in, I'm going in, I'm going in, I'm going in, I'm going in. What the actual shit is going on? Who designed these puzzles? No entry. And a skull and crossbones. That's it's absolutely... It's, it's going to give me a stroke. System is located on this basement level. All the and like, I know I'm just going to throttle myself. Or nerf myself. Because I'm getting kill me, is it? Let's I'm so okay. Shock the charger. Okay. What? So I could get crushed by a falling wall of magnets. Like I'm getting so sick of the game that I'm just like speeding through it now, and I'm not caring about upgrades. So that's just gonna nerf me and make me less powerful. All right, zap. Well, whatever. Might I remind you that you can change the magnet's polarity with a single shock charge? Oh Comrade my Major, god. Have you made it to the VDMH? I don't want kinda. to play anymore. What's that supposed to mean? It means I'm kind of almost there. I'm in the magnetic oh my shock god. absorption chamber, looking for a way to unlock the entrance doors. Can you open them for me? No, I can't. I don't have the skills. This is your responsibility. Then get off my grill. Super cool and fun, super cool and fun, super cool and fun. <sighs> okay, those don't work. And I <sighs> Guess what? More waiting. I'm scared these are gonna squish me. Okay, they will not. Ugh. Please be over. Those freaks in there. Ah! Damn mustaches again. Go to sleep. Ugh. I'm so tired of this game. You know I play worse games. <laughs> oh. and, and like, I want to keep trying because it's the studio's first game. And I want to give it benefit of the doubt, but it's consistent. Of like, bad design choices. And. 
like I can't think of a good analogy, but like there there's a line, right? It's like, yeah, I, I know it's the first time, but if something keeps shitting on your eyes, you're going to stop looking at it. D terrible analogy, but you know, what's the point of this fucking maze anyway? The magnetic shock absorption system was developed by scientists from Kiev Polytechnic University. It's a very complex and comprehensive device that alters its configuration according to the situation. So it's plan B in case of a natural disaster. Among other things. But it is first and foremost a trial run of the magnetic shock absorption system. Here, under Earth conditions, the system will be perfected so that it can be deployed in space. Cool. Science is power. There's no denying it. But we still need to find a way past all these goddamn magnets. What? Why did I jump? Fucking idiot. Can I make that jump? That guy's gonna come alive. Maybe not. Another door without a lock. Ugh. Where's the relay, Charles? I don't see anything on the walls. Oh my god, game. It's, it's the same shit over and over again. Can you really not think, think of anything else to do besides... Uh, door's locked. Go find a thing. Oh! Yeah, in the magnet platform, this feels like... This feels like there would be a game designed around this mechanic, like shock magnets move things around. Like, if that was a, a whole game based on that, like one or two hour game maybe a little indie game that's fine but like why is this a facility they, they they just wanted to put it in this feels definitely like kira it feels like they put this idea in to the pet to pad the game time for no reason for no reason there's there's no reason for this to be here I'm getting sick of these goddamn fetch quests. No, they move when I'm on them. And I love that it doesn't tell me... Repair mirror mechanism. Love it. Uh, I love that it doesn't tell me what exactly I'm supposed to be doing. Or where I should be going. Oh my god. I wasn't sure if I could make that jump. Don't smush me, don't smush me. Do I need to get over there? Oh, fuck off. And this is a constant thing in the game, too. Oh, you missed the jump. Go back to the beginning and start over. Isn't that fun? We love that. Like, I understand the idea of, like, grounding it. Not wanting to gamify something enough. But at the same time, you need to realize that you're actually making a video game for people to play and enjoy. And sometimes you gotta give them that quality of life to be like, hey, you fucking, you missed the jump. That's a punishment enough that you missed the jump. Damn it. Don't make it more of a punishment. It's like, oh, guess what? Not only did you miss the jump, but start over. Ugh. What's up, Space? Welcome to the stream. Get a cookie for you. Cookie for you. Game yeah, night cookie. Ugh. Ugh. Fuck! 
And also, the fucking, the dash jump is super counterintuitive to every video game I've ever played. It's, you dash, you start running, and then you jump. This one is you have to jump first and then dash in the air. So, as you can tell, every time I've done it, I've tried to run dash to make a jump. That's not how you're supposed to do it. I'm going to die just by falling. What am I supposed to do? There's no indicator what I'm supposed to do. There's a dead man there. Hey, tell me. We had hats, we had suits, we had... <sighs> and Soviet Russia jumped and dashed you. Uh, you know what? Maybe that's it. About? My partner and I used to service the magnets here. And each Why? Time What's the point? We might get grounded if we got careless. Wore rubber-treated pants, swallowed pills, put tinfoil under the hard hat, and a bit to avoid getting torn apart by the magnetic field. But it was the robots that killed you. Nah, come on, not the robots. It was poor judgment. We should have gotten weapons and body armor. You see, the problem wasn't the robots. It was lack of preparation. You should always know what's going to happen. You can never be ready for everything. God damn it, that's a miserable excuse. If this is just another exposition that he's not going to help me figure out how to do this. You can use. Always think twice before wasting a bullet. Stay low. Make short runs from one shelter to another. Never investigate anything unless absolutely necessary. Following your advice would make life pretty damn dull. Do what I did, and you're gonna live longer. Look, you're the dead one. There's a hole big enough in your logic to drive a truck through, but whatever. Again, zero help from this guy. I sat there at his entire spiel. No help. Oh, I'm I'm so checked out of this game. What's the fucking point of this facility? There's no point. There's no point being here. I don't care. I don't. I don't. I don't. There's no reason. There's no reason. There's nothing. There repair mirror mechanism. Thanks, fucking game. You're literally not... Let me in! You didn't tell me what I needed to do! Ah! I'm getting angry. It again. Yeah, let's work out this stress with some cake getting, shall we? One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And the worst part is like. It's hard to find out which platforms are going to move a lot of times because I can't see all the platforms very well. And then they all kind of just just like, like, is that one going down or up? You know, and you zap it like, oh, that one didn't move. How nice. But that one I thought was going to go down. Nope, it went up more. There's no indicator. That one didn't move. That one came down. Ugh. I... I'm like 20 seconds from stopping this game. Oh my god. What am I supposed to do? It's a fucking empty ass room. Wait, what's this?
Literally nothing. Amazing. Fantastic. What the fuck is the... What's the point of this platform? What's the point of this platform? I can't grab it. There's no point to this platform except for being an ass. I hate that. Don't put shit in the game. Like, this whole fucking facility makes zero sense. Like, you can't, by any logical means, say that this is a useful facility for moving shit. Especially since there's holes. It's like, okay, well, you would need a ladder or something to attach these. There's no. There's nothing. Look at that. This is garbage. This is so bad. Uh... Never mind, I don't trust my idea. Is it jump off a cliff? So that last bit of life I have is done, then we're like, oh no, there's permadeath in this game. Because that's what I'm kind of thinking. There's no indication on what I'm supposed to do here. There's nothing. There's nothing! This is a horrible design idea. Oh my god. This game is a swing and a very hard miss. I can't jump up these anymore. That's super cool and fun. Uh. Also, my shock power suddenly is a half a second cooldown. Why is that a thing now? I understand it's for this puzzle, but they didn't explain it. And then they're going to take it away again at some point and also not explain that. That's terrible design. You could even just made up some bullshit. Be like, hey, you're in a magnetic facility. For some reason, I'm supercharged and I can shock more often. Just something. But the fact that it's like, hey... We know this is a stupid puzzle room, and it would be annoying if you had to wait this long. So we're just going to give you this on a shorter cooldown. No explanation. And then, once you're done with this puzzle stuff, we're going to take it back away. No explanation. Oh no, my save file deleted itself. Exactly. No. Nothing. Like, hooray. Right? I mean, there's, there's weird, like, this thing, which could be it, but the way these fucking things move is dumb as fuck. I'm sick and tired of this, and, like, I don't know where to go to get back up to those stupid ass areas. Yeah. Somehow almost missed. Cool, I'm back down here. Neat. Neat. I made it. Okay, that one goes up. Don't! Oh, if it would have made me fall off, I would have screamed. Don't squish me. (laughs) 
Charles. What the hell does Molotov have against Dr. Sechenov? Why do you have this to it? this commission up two days before? Oh my god. Everything's ready. Exactly because everything is ready. What do you mean? Are you trying to say that Molotov and his commission want to steal the fruits of Sechenov's labor two days before the launch? Come on. Indeed. The malfunction Petrov caused is an excellent pretext for showing that Dr. Sechenov is incapable of overseeing the <sighs> Soviet 3826 and by extension, the polymerization of the Soviet Oops. Union. What's the boss got to do with it? This is all Petrov's fault. He's the one oh, who the the I get back over there. Into this thing? Corpses. I'm afraid nope. Comrade Molotov doesn't care how many victims there are. Where is it? But neither does Comrade Sechenov. What? What the fuck are you talking about? Where is Love? it? The boss is doing everything he can to fix this. To Where is it? Precise, Comrade Major. There it is. It's you doing everything you can to fix this, not Dr. Sechenov. But he's the one who sent me here. But why did he do that? Think about it logically. Comrade and Sechenov jump! Oh my god, please. From preventing information about this terrible malfunction. You can tell your kids this is Fallout 5? <laughs> no one would believe that a handful of traitors are responsible for the whole thing. Everybody would think that Soviet robots are dangerous. And also, the downside is, too, I hate the main character. He's such an asshole. I can't relate. I mean, I'm kind of an asshole. But I can't relate to his attitude. Like, I don't care about him as a person. As quickly as possible. Can I just go in a fucking circle? So what? We're seeing a common everyday power struggle. Instead of going to the government and having troops sent to facility 3826, this one didn't even move. The hostile robots, arrest Petrov or Oh no. Dr. Sechenov is doing everything he can <clears throat> to conceal the tragedy from everyone, including the government. Okay. Don't fall off. Okay. Now what? How the fuck do I get over there? This piece of shit's in the way. Hello? uncomfortable amazing look at this progress Can't send in the army. There are too many people. Somebody could leak intel to the enemy. This better not fuck me. Okay, but thank God. Reliable men could be sent to the facility, such as the Argentum unit loyal to Thank Sechenov. freaking God. They could team up with huh. combat robots and restore order in the blink of an eye. But I don't need to tell you about that, do I? But that's uh. Uh, ugh, crispy critters. I don't get it. Why does it have to be so complicated? Because Doctor. Yeah, it's given us a save point every other room because I know this is bullshit. That should be an indicator that you know what? Maybe people aren't going to enjoy this everything he can to make sure the government doesn't know, you know? what happened why do you think that is because his enemies would take collective away from him uh -huh. when everything they all have to be blue to go, okay any asshole with a badge could run it quite right it's all done just fix okay. the malfunction and press a button geniuses creators and engineers have already done their jobs all that's left to do is enjoy the fruits of their labor. Come on. In other words, Comrade Molotov wants to put Dr. Sechenov in jail. Oh, I can't move him that way. Shit. The facility himself? To be exact, he wants to lead Collective. But how can he? 
everybody's going to be equal there. Some will be more equal than others. I got it. Come on. Come on. Why is that one turning red? Why is this one red? That doesn't make any sense. Look at two blues are going into it and a red is coming out. What? Two blues going into it and then a red comes out? How does that make any sense? Come on. There. Two of the same output, red, and two different... Maybe. Like, if you have the same... Go into the same one, maybe it flips the color. Also, there was no indication of that before, so... Oh my god, there's more. It's not like everyone can be responsible for everything. Everyone means no one. Someone's got to take responsibility. The buck has to stop somewhere, right? And if the whole world did nothing but debate big decisions, no one would ever do anything. You guys talk a lot. I don't care anymore. What if you're wrong? They're, they're so trying to get philosophical world, on us now. That's what this... That's the point of this stupid puzzle. To hear more lore dump. And the philo philosophical decision-making. Don't force me to listen to it. By a bullshit puzzle, you should make me want to be interested in it and seek it out. That's the indication of a good game. Is I have a desire to seek out more of the lore. Don't put me in a frustrating, annoying situation like this bullshit who gives me the lore dump. Uh-uh. Don't do that. Have special discretionary authority within collective. What's wrong with that? That's how it's always been. Has it really? Or has there always been one oh. indisputable leader? Yeah, and that's why I want to keep trying to play it, but God damn! And all the rest. Are you trying to say there's going to be one single leader in collective? Like, I'm trying to say that people will connect to collective. It feels like if they would have polished their vision of what they wanted the game to be instead of adding all these little elements that seem pointless, I think they could have really excelled on it and polished off a lot of the rough parts. But like this fucking area. So don't care. Why is this here? It would be. But collective can only be launched. It's like you, you put time, energy, and resources into this bullshit area when that time, money, and resources could have put into polishing up the rougher parts of the game that actually mean something. You know? Oh my god, I hate this area. There's like nothing that touches the floor. He wants to take control of collective. That's why he's on his way here right now. Crispy critters. I never liked that guy. He's always complaining about sex. I have no idea what's happening. We gotta hurry. I have no idea what's happening with uh, the lore with all that bit because I'm tuned out. I don't care. It got. Oh, you gotta question the bdeeb dub 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 dub. I don't care anymore. None of this connects. Ah, ha, ha. Uh. And then you like find a platform and you just have to hope to God that you find something. Nice. Yep, that's exactly uh, what I was looking for here. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well done. 
That didn't move at all. I'm scared to try to make that jump. There's no way. There's no way that's what it's wanting. I'm going to go over here. Oh, shit. There we go. Thank God. Don't squish me. Don't squish me. Now what? Now what? There we go. Oh my god. I want to be done with this fucking area. I thought that boss fight was bad. This game is giving you sudden urge to pay control. That one's on my list. That one's pretty good. Those robots were getting ready for a sessy time. Gun. Um... The shit oh so this little thing is the reason everything's all jammed up <laughs> this place is nuts you can ascend to the surface along with the mirror for once you're right i'd probably reach nirvana before i could make it back down the way i came single points except for this one. Fortunately, we're going to have to do it like this. Split down, down. There we go. <laughs> Scared me? The smile on the spook factor and it has very strong SCP feel to it. Control? Has SCP factor to it? Any minute now. If the commission hasn't landed yet, that means there's still time. Just That's kind of cool. Shall I report to Dr. Sechenov that it is his requests that prevent you from working? Yeah, you can report on how you ran away from those robots on the maglev platform instead of helping. I am not a soldier, Comrade Major. I am doing intellectual, not menial labor. Smashing robots is your specialty. The only labor you're doing is talking my ear off. How can... can... I... How can I... Help me? I, I, I need to get into the exhibit. Okay. How do I open the door? Multi key. I need a multi pass. All Terish Cobra models can transform their index fingers into keys. It's one of their basic functions. Looks like you lost your multi key. Was that a reference? I think that was a reference. You can use electro capsules to restore energy. Okay. Unlocking function cannot be initiated. Right. Where could she have lost her hands? I suggest you start searching this location. Charles, what do the special neuro connectors for Collective look like? You know, the ones the government is supposed to get. The ones they will get look like thought devices, but in a golden diamond encrusted shell. The scientists from Dr. Sechenov's team have already Key, give me that. different devices. Different? You mean there's going to be ones with different capabilities? Or not. According to Dr. Sechenov's plan, bureaucrats and civil servants will receive fakes. Only the scientists will receive real connectors with discretionary authority. The boss is going to try to deceive the government? That's crazy. How do you know that? Where did you get your neuro power okay, that was, from, just, Oh, Major? buddy. You mean yourself? Don't worry about me. I'm totally not stealing. Exactly. Hold on. You mean he gave me his own glove? The fate of his life's work depends on the success of your mission. <laughs> he did ask me to be careful with you. Just doing some uh, mail order business. Don't worry about it. Oh, what now? An eternity looking at this worthless hunk of junk? The backstabbing machine that killed me? 
He killed you? It's a phase. It'll pass. It's already passing. I can't even remember my own name anymore. But his metal muck is still there. I still remember the bastard gutting me. They told us robots were going to replace us. As staff. Well, they certainly did. Only they did it by slaughtering us all. That's some replacement, isn't it? Oh well. Just leave me alone. I want to doze off. Can you excuse me, buddy? Don't give me that eye. Excuse you. Dead bodies all over the place. That's nothing new. We've been seeing that all game. Why is it so surprising all of a sudden? Tereshkova's arm. Cool. What's that metal pervert doing with it? That He's gonna get mad. Robot waiter. Who's serving the people it killed? I'm gonna smash that fucking bot to bits. The robot isn't currently hostile. We should be able to retrieve the arm without a fight. Oh, cool. Beginning. Hey, buddy, can I have that arm, please? Was that? Fuck that. There's no way I'm leaving that thing alive. <laughs> I just accidentally swung my weapon and it just assumed I was attacking him. I want this. Oh my god, and, and like a quarter of the gate is just like looting. Hey, is this a break room? Dude, I can't get... Aha! Wait, it's mine. No, it's mine. I want it. Listen up, everyone. I took a oh, he getting angry. He's course. actually angry. Okay. Uh, why are they I was going to leave you alone. Graphics are this and that kind of robot, yada, yada, yada. And then you get all technical. Uh, there are kids there, you know? Young pioneers, talk different. you got to keep them entertained. Yes, watch this. This is Robot... Ow. He's really nice and friendly. He might be a little on the chubby side, but he's really neat. I wasn't going to leave you alone. I don't know. Kicks ass. We're just kind of hanging out and playing with the hand. You know what I mean. Don't say he kicks ass. Say, I don't know. Something else. Make the tourist fun. I swear I looted that. Crawl all over the bots. Let them ride them or something. I don't know. They're safe and fun. We need to get the kids interested in robots, not Oops. put them to sleep. Wrong way. Oh, uh, hello. Oh, this is one of those, right? No chest. How does it work? Ugh. Hold it up to my neurosensor contacts. <laughs> I got another hand. Key activated. She can come grab her own arm.
Now what? What a weird piece of art. Hi. Thank you for coming to my aid. Not having the key felt like I was missing a limb. One How moment, please. Did we fix her or break her? The How did Kova is a state of the art model with a self repairing system. Okay, a famous actress and cosmonaut contributed to its creation. I don't give two wet. Okay, farts. So I was gonna say, where'd your okay, hands come enough. from? Later. Okay. How many upgrades do I have? Authorization. Major. What's it working on? Oh, I'm slightly short on that. Oops. I can make it. Thanks. Can I have it? Thank you. Neat. Can I apply all the parts to this one that I had with my current axe? Ooh, power attack. Authorization. Major Nichayev, code. Nope. Bummer. Killing an enemy restores a charge. Yo. Oh, I got like no upgrades for it. I have a couple of, okay. Just increase the number of weapons I have. I thought I could have like one melee weapon, but I could have multiple. Let me in. Okay. Do I talk to her? I have no like mission thing to do. Greetings, comrades, and welcome to the All Soviet Exhibition Center. What the fuck are you babbling on about? What speech? You're prancing past piles of dead bodies, and there's blood everywhere. My algorithms are glitching with horror, but my databases <laughs> lack the verbal and visual tools required to express fear, horror, or other negative emotions. <laughs> I was created to remain positive and optimistic, no matter what. The grotesque dissonance between my behavior and the gruesome surroundings grosses me out. But there's nothing <laughs> to do about it. Uh, I see. I guess nobody expected this to happen. Okay, bot. Set the V to drill mode. This Oops. would lead to even greater aggression from passive and physical security systems. God damn it. It will endanger you and may lead to death of the surviving people. Assuming there are still any left. Exactly. If there are any left, this place is a fucking graveyard. Now follow my damn order, bot. You have given me a most peculiar command. All people in this complex have been killed by robots, but you are unharmed. This arouses suspicion. Prove that you are a human. I will not follow the orders of a robot pretending to be one. And how am I supposed to do that? Commit seppuku? You must pass the Darwin test. This will prove that you are a human. Uh, or use oh, that axe to test? show that I can bleed. Just rip your head off, huh? Without her help, activating drill mode will take too much time. I gladly confirm this information. Fine, knock yourself out. Hit me with this damn Darwin test of yours. What am I supposed to do? Prove that you are human, Pioneer Nichayev. Put three items on this pedestal that represent the three main values of a so- NOT ANOTHER GODDAMN Later, FETCH QUEST! Life. 
crispy critters. Now I gotta deal with another crazy ass lock. Fuck, I'm a magnet for annoying bullshit. The game is even aware that it's annoying. It's aware that it's annoying. I'm done. I'm done. I can't. I can't be asked. I'm done with the fetch quest. This game is a fetch quest simulator. I don't care about the main character. He's an asshole. I kind of don't care about what's happening in the world. Because everyone's dead. That's another thing. They, can't, they couldn't figure out some interesting way. Everyone that I've met, except for Granny, they couldn't find some interesting way to keep them around. They just had their quick use, and then they died. It's all fetch quests. The platforming sections are obnoxious. The puzzles are something I'm unlike anything I've ever played. And I'm just getting tired of it. I wish they had a a vision and they went full steam ahead with that idea instead of adding all these dumb not I won't say dumb all these little bits to it that just feel like padding or filler like this again a fetch quest bullshit there's so much of that this whole facility of the magnet thing just to hear a lore dump. It's all padding of the game time. So far, like, if we got rid of all the bullshit of the fix quest and stuff, I probably would have had maybe, maybe an hour of actual gameplay. And progressing the story. Maybe two hours. But right now, we're at, what, I hour seven eight nine maybe and at least six seven or like or six or seven of those hours are bullshit yeah and the puzzles make no sense it's like hey guess what here's a magnet puzzle and then the inconsistency is about the puzzles as well that's the other thing driving me nuts that magnet puzzle for instance you guys saw that one on the left I could not magnetize it from the back. It refused. It would not work. It only did it from the front. And then somehow I solved the other one. And then went to the other one. And then I could do it from the back. There's no consistency. I, I can forgive the bugs of getting stuck. Like me jumping on things and all of a sudden getting stuck and having to reload. The the not autosave thing is, is brutal. The not... Not having the ability to quick save without not a save is brutal. And oh god, I don't, I don't care. I I have no reason to continue playing this game. Besides the, the only reason I would continue playing this game is to finally say I beat the game, I'm done with it. But I don't care enough. Like, even if it's over, I would just be like, finally, it's over. I don't care the outcome. I don't, this person that I'm playing as is, is, is such a douchebag that I don't give two shits about him. You know? Just, ugh. I can't, dude. Yeah, I'm, it's, it's 9.30. I think we're gonna call it. Um, God damn. Yeah, like, I know it's their first game, and you know what? Like, some of the, the beginning was super polished. They had, like, unique ideas. Like, these characters and stuff are unique. That weird, creepy fridge. Totally unique idea. Never seen that before. It's kind of cool how it prints out your stuff. 
that's kind of cool. Uh, the art is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. But, and the music was actually really great, even besides the Doom soundtrack song. Um, I've enjoyed the music running around, but all those wonderful things cannot save the game from some of its terrifying, glaring decisions that were made for the gameplay. And that's what this is. Like, this is a video game. The, the, the beauty of the packaging is one thing, but having the ability to play with it and enjoy the, the time of playing with it is the key of the video game. Not how pretty it looks. Not the amazing voice effects that, like, imagine you, you go get a toy from the toy store and man, it's got some amazing packaging. It's got like 400 voices. Amazing. But then you open it and if you move it in any sort of way, it breaks the toy. That's what this is. It's got beautiful packaging. It's got a lot of bells and whistles that are just make it look and sound beautiful. But the actual experience with it is horrible. It's so heartbreaking. I think they released the game without enough public playtesting or didn't take feedback. Something. Because, like, uh, what was it? Yesterday when uh, they said we could un or unlearn some skills and we we're like, how? It didn't explain it at all? I had to Google it? Or something so sp simple of a game idea or mechanic. I had to Google it? And I've almost had to Google multiple of the puzzles because they were bollocks. I don't understand. I get the reason for why you could pull the magnet back at first because they needed to be this. Yeah, see, that's the other thing too. I was like, all right, if one had to be solved at a time to activate the other one, then disable the first one. As opposed to be like, oh, this maybe that's part of the puzzle. I can't pull this one from the back. The same thing with the train puzzle yesterday. It's like, why can't I push the forward button? Why can't I push the forward button here? Oh, no, you have to walk up 100 feet that way. And then take a left. And there's another button up there that you just can't see. Why can't this button work here? It worked over there. But it won't work on this one. Why? I don't understand. It, it, it definitely felt like maybe they didn't have, like, a big uh, testing team. Maybe It could be that they're, they're literally the, the developers, like the people writing the code, were the testers. Which is fine. A lot of places do that. But at the same time, if you're the one that wrote the code, someone else needs to do some in-depth testing of it. Because otherwise, you won't think how other people will think and try to quote unquote, break your code. You know, or try different avenues or try different things. Or maybe, maybe they ran into the, some of the problems that I had and they're like, ah, oh, you know what? We don't have time or the budget or the energy or the resources to fix it right now. And we'll just have to deal with it. That's also a possibility. You know, it's, I think it's a smaller studio. I don't know. I don't know much about them, but I just know it's their first game. So, everyone's first game there's massive growing pains you know um but from like the the looks and stuff i think they did a great idea, job but the actual experience is a pain in the ass and like what they keep like repeating some of the same stuff it's like beating a dead horse it's like oh my god there's bodies everywhere that's how it's been this whole time why are you shocked that would be like the zombie apocalypse happens and week in, you're like, oh my god, there's zombies everywhere. No shit, Sherlock. We're aware of this fact. Why do you keep telling us this? You know? Ugh. Wait, plan on some individual interaction points rather than just on the end of points. Yeah, exactly. Or give me a quick save. Like, if you don't want auto save, I don't know if that's too difficult or... Like, you could get yourself into situations where, oh shit, you auto-saved and it was the player falling to their death or something, so they were stuck in a loop. Give me quick saves. You know? 
Sweet, I cleared a bullshit area that I absolutely hated. Quick save. Not, I cleared a bullshit area. Where's the save point? I just got killed by something because I had one hit left. I got jumped. Now I have to fight that whole thing again. I have to fight that boss again. No. Although, I, I, I would assume there was a quick save after that boss that we fought. But that's just an example. It's like, give us fucking auto saves. Or more auto saves. G give me a quick save. Like, ugh. I just spent 20 minutes looting this facility because I couldn't find a save point yet. And then I died. And now I have to spend 20 more minutes to re-loot the facility. That's so annoying. No one enjoys that. I hope this is successful enough for them to make a second game. I agree. I agree. I hope they made enough money with it that they can pursue other avenues of interest. I hope they have... Uh, can bring in some more team members that maybe have some more experience with game development. They can be like, ah, this puzzle doesn't work well. Or, here, let's improve upon this aspect. Something. Because I believe they have talent. And they have the capacity to make something freaking fantastic. Absolutely. This could have been freaking fantastic if it weren't some of these major pitfalls that, uh, that they have. Or I won't say pitfalls. There's some glaring issues. With the game in my opinion i'm sure this is gonna get pretty highly rated or something but man like i'm i'm checked out and that's something that you don't want your players to experience you know they'll really hit something out of the park as long as they learn yeah exactly same i agree i and i hope i wish the best for them i hope they do something awesome in the future i hope they've learned or they listen, not necessarily to me, but they listen to the community, they listen to some feedback, and they learn, and they grow, and they make something amazing. Like, I would look forward to the studio's next game. I might be a little bit hesitant. Like, all right, I hated Atomic... Heart. I won't say hated, that's too strong. Like, I disliked a lot of the gameplay of Atomic Heart. It was not for me. I didn't enjoy a lot of the repetitiveness. And the fact that the game kind of... It doesn't feel like it's poking fun, but it definitely acknowledges that a lot of the game is annoying. That is something... If you're acknowledging that in your game, and it's not like a tongue-in-cheek reference, or a, a joke of some kind, maybe dial that whatever you're doing back a little bit. You know? I don't know. Um, I, I would be interested if they... Uh, their next game... I, I obviously, you know... I. I won't jump on immediately unless it looks fucking fantastic. I'll be I'll be worried. I'm like, please don't be like Atomic Heart. I maybe have learned. But goddamn, I can't bring myself to finish this. I can't. Um, so I guess um, next week uh, I might. I'll have to see how long, much longer I ha uh, I could probably I could have switched to this. I can, I can see how much longer I have with uh, Game Pass. Um, if that's the case, I might look at Woe Long. Um, also, I have to do uh, a code exper experiment. I've just designed a small web page um, for an interview that I have. Um, and I'm only going to be able to do that on the weekends. So, and that's only, I have a Saturday, a Sunday, and then another Saturday and Sunday ahead of me to do it. But one of those days, at least, is taking up a, a day of getting a development environment set up and a project running. So, um, my idea is maybe I will stream developing it, um, because that'll, that'll make it feel less tedious to me. I can hang out, we can play some tunes, people can ask questions, um, have fun, demonstrate follow along i don't know if you guys are interested in code it'd be something that you can check out um it's more for like an a sanity thing for me um because the more i was thinking about it like in the shower today it's like okay here's a bunch of the requirements that they were asking for and my brain was like oh my god the more i think about it the more hours upon hours it's going to take just to implement something at a base level and they're wanting the, the part that's the most difficult for me is they wanting to bring me on as a UI designer, which is my strong suit. And I'm all for that, but they want me to start an app from scratch. 
which is fine because right now I'm a full stack developer. I do front end, back end, uh, the middle tier, everything. Um, but if they're explicitly wanting to bring my skills on as a UI person, why are you making me demonstrate that I can build something from scratch? They, like even provide me a base level of an app and let me design a UI based on that. If you're looking to see what my skills are for that, that's what I should do. Cause then I could put all four of those days into designing a UI that I am proud of. And I could be like, listen, this is the four days of my time that I put into designing something that showcases what I'm capable of. But at least two of those days are going to be me setting up an environment and then getting a project running and just having like a database connection and an app talking to the database and then having some backend stuff that can relay information and data. There's no UI stuff yet. So I'm already cutting half my time down. So I'm hoping at the same, the second interview, because they want me to bring in like apps that I I've worked on and showcase some stuff. I'm hoping that I can be like, listen, I guess this was proof that I could get something up and running. Yay. But here's what I'm actually capable of if I have valid or enough time to do something. You know? So I'm, I'm all stressed out about that. Um, I tried to get some of it set up uh, before stream today. And I hate setting up development environments so very much. It's, it's not going well. Um... Yeah, so if people are interested in that, um, I'm thinking about doing that these weekends, which means my next weekends are not going to be my relax and recoup in preparation for the coming week. So I'm going to be pretty exhausted in a couple weeks, I think. Um, but so if that's what's something people are interested in seeing, uh, we can possibly do that. Play some tunes, hang out. Um, but that's the plan for the coming weekends. Uh, possibly some Wolong uh, during the week. Uh, but things are kind of up in the air. If this week I can't get a uh, an app running or something, or I feel like I'm too far behind to actually do anything worthwhile in the next weekend, and that's it, I might cut into the week and like cancel some streams or something, and say I I have to spend some time doing uh the interview thing because literally like from the time I wake up in the morning, I go to work. I have most of the time, like I work up to the point where I need to start streaming, I start stream and then I go to bed, I eat dinner, take a shower, feed Jada, go to bed. So I have like no time during the week to work on this stuff. So uh, tomorrow I can because I normally don't stream on Fridays, but that's only a couple hours because I've worked a full day and that's exhausting already. It's like, oh, I do this normally eight hours a day and now I have to do more for free. And that's the other thing I was worried about was like, all right, they want me to start up this whole app. There's like requirements built into it. And they're asking for a lot in particular. They're not, it's not just like a demonstrate of your code capabilities. It's like they're asking for reports and you're asking for uh, forms to input data to an actual live database and reports that can talk to that database and pull out the data and all sorts of other stuff that like an actual full fledged web page. I'm like, if this is actually going to be used, if you, when you hire me, I hope you pay me for those back, those hours that I wasn't hired yet, because otherwise I just did like 20 plus hours of work for free which is uncool. And I know a lot of businesses businesses have been doing that lately, especially in the art community where they will, it's like, oh yeah, we liked your portfolio. We want to bring you in for an interview. Oh, you passed your interview. That's cool. Uh, we want you to bit design a given idea. And we want you to design this. Um, and the, a lot of people, the smart people are like, well, are you going to pay me for it? A lot of like new people come in it's like oh damn it okay well i want to show them that i'm dedicated i'm going to spend you know 18 hours drawing this character that they're asking for and then they submit it to them 
and then the company either ghosts them to say they're going with another option or something but they what the company did all along is they had a commission a com i can't think of a better word but a commission for a client or something for that fucking design so they're literally outsourcing interviews to these artists and getting free work to give to their clients to get paid for and they don't pay the artists because it's masked as a interview it's fucked up and uh i know some companies have been doing that lately so i don't know if it's trickled in to the the coder sphere or anything but i wouldn't put it I, I don't think this company would do it too i know the people that work there i it was my first job that I ever worked. I think they're actually looking for things, but at the same time, it's like, damn, you're asking for like 20 hours on my free time to do this. Like, and if you're looking for my current code capabilities, let me show you that. I like, I can do a live screen share. I can show you it. I will do live code right now. So you can know that I'm not bullshitting when I say I've made this or I know what I'm talking about. You know, oh, you asked me to change something? Boom, I can do it right there in life. That is more... That, that shows my capabilities more than if I just said, here's a website that I, you said make. Here you go. And just trust that I made it and didn't find it online. You know? It make me a, a rapid-fire code session. It's like, all right, do this. Cool watch me do it live i'd be more than willing to do that anyway i've been rambling for like 20 minutes oh my buddy got duped into building a live website for an interview didn't get hired but the client still used website exactly see okay well it's building in the coder sphere that's exactly what i'm talking about like no no that's why like i don't i don't think they're gonna do it I, if they were going to use it, I'd be like, hey, come on. I spent 20 hours in this. Give me some back pay, because that's, that's fucking... That's not cool. And at the same time, I'm not going to give them the product. You know? Like, hey, send it to us an email or Google Drive. No. No. Like, I want to trust you guys, but if you're making me put 20 hours into this, this is weird. <laughs> I will bring in my flash drive. Oh, you're worried about me, me logging in using a flash drive on one of your computers? Cool, I'll bring in my own computer. Oh, you're worried about my computer maybe have a virus logging onto your network? Cool, I'll bring my own computer and hook up to my phone's uh, mobile network. <laughs> there are ways around it now. I ain't giving you my flash drive. Until I'm paid for it. <laughs> Ugh. That sucks that you bring it. Yeah, it's it's such jacked up fucking evil, evil people. Anyways, um, yeah, this is where I'm going to call it. I know I've been rambling. I'm, I apologize. Um, I'm going to go decompress. I, I do wish all the best for the developers. This game was just not for me. It's it was too padded out. There was too much stuff that made no sense for it being there. And uh I'm done. I, I can't. I can't be brought to finish it. I'd like even you guys. I don't know if you caught on, but like even when we started the stream, that whole part where we had to run down that freaking like highway for some reason. Why? That was ridiculous. And that, that felt like a situation is like just to go loot stuff, which is fine. But like, that's when I felt my my well, that was my initial impression in my brain is like, I'm already starting to check out. Because me, I'm a loot goblin. If you guys have been around the stream for any amount of time, you know this about me. I will go loot everything. But if I'm not looting everything, it's either because I've I maxed out on my resources, I've maxed out whatever I'm, I can upgrade so I don't need to loot anymore, or I'm checking out of the game. And that was my first indication that I was like, I'm checking out already. I'm not interested. I don't care. So, anyway. um. Oh yeah, my my stream deck's all jacked up right now, so um I don't know. <laughs> Fucking come on, stream stuff, just behave yourself. Uh like first 20 minutes of stream was silent, so I have to go put that in. Uh 
a video editor and say, hey, there's no sound here for, for me for the first 20 minutes. So I got to do that real quick. And I got to make, God damn it, I got to make a clip from yesterday's stream and put that up for tomorrow's release on the tubes and the TikToks and all that stuff. But uh, thank you guys so much for being here. I uh, appreciate you guys hanging out and listening to my rambles and uh, my discontent. I apologize um, if that's upsetting. Um, I know a lot of people don't like to hear people complain, and I understand. Um, I, I'm usually one of those people, too. But airing your grievances isn't that big of a deal, I don't think, um, in most cases. Anyway, so that's what I was doing. Um, but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Remember to spay new to your pets, adopt, don't shop, donate to rescue if you can't afford it, or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. That is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and rescues out that are very much in need. Anyways, I'm Vasive. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Uh, thank you so much for letting me be a streamer tonight. I heavily appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys next time. See ya. Yeah, yeah. yeah you wanna go sleep? You hungry? Come on, let's go get some booties. I'm gonna throw my memories away. Now I feel I'm done. I'm dying first by every day. Till my time is gone. I've never felt this way.